Hey Marco, I'm Michael. I'll be your sales associate here. So as it turns out, we do have this uh, Civic in stock. It's been here a few days now, actually, because somebody lost the key for it, but we're gonna get a new key. Anyway, I finally found uh, the spare key and wanted to show you the Civic Sport Touring that you were interested in. So this for Honda Civic Touring, not Sport Touring, my bad. That'd be the sticker price from us after the Howdy Honda protection package, which includes window tint, paint and interior protection, and two years of windshield crack repair or replacement. Let me widen it out a bit here. So the Touring gives you all sorts of different features, starting with in the front, you get these parking sensors here, there. Those will let you know when you're approaching an object and if you're about to hit it, that they will break, apply the brakes for you, which I can say from experience is quite scary when you're in a car wash and it slams on the brakes all of a sudden, but better than running into a pole or something. You get these, what are they? I think they're 18 inch wheels. They're like brushed aluminum on the front and then dark gray on the interior, which is nice because the brake dust and stuff doesn't show up so well. So even when they're dirty, they don't look it. You get integrated turn signals. The Touring has blind spot protection. That'll light up whenever somebody's in your blind spot. It'll also beep at you if you put your blinker on whenever somebody's on that blind, the blind spot associated with that side of the blinker. The key gives you remote, uh, remote start. You can do that by pressing lock once and then holding down this button. You'll see the light flash. That means that it's starting up. Keyless access means that without touching the key, just having it in your pocket, put your hand on the handle, it'll beep. That means it's unlocked. You can also lock it by touching the three dots, three lines there on the top of the handle when the door is closed. You get automatic up and down windows for the front two windows and then electric windows for the rear two. Uh, electric control of your side view mirrors, electric control of the seat, there's a view, here's the rear. Civics are so long nowadays that they're just about as long as an Accord and you can hardly tell a difference as a rear passenger. There's plenty of room for even tall people. Put your foot on the brake, push the start button. That'll cause the digital display to fully light up. Um, on the steering wheel here, you got your media controls. You can push this button when your phone's connected to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And that'll, whoops, as I was demoing this, the Android Auto actually connected to my phone. So that stopped it recording. But anyway, you can push this button there to speak commands to your voice assistant, like call my mom or navigate home. Over here you've got your adaptive cruise control stuff, lane keep assist is this button. You can adjust your following distance when you're in adaptive cruise control with this button. Dual climate zones, wireless charging, wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. This is Android Auto since my phone's an Android showing up right there. So that'll give you your maps and Spotify, Pandora, whatever else, your phone. You got your shifter here, a few different drive modes. The Touring comes equipped with paddle shifters, which are kind of fun when you feel like driving a bit sporty. And then you have sport, normal, and economy modes of driving. Your electronic parking brake is here, and then brake hold is a kind of cool feature. You can turn that on and it'll keep the car, it'll keep the brakes held whenever you're in drive once you come to a stop. So you won't coast forward if you let your foot off the brake. You got uh, two USB-A charging ports here and then a 12 volt cigarette lighter as has been the standard for many decades. The Touring comes with leather seats. This is black on black, while well, black with gray stitching here in the middle, which looks pretty nice in person. It's got perforated leather, which is nice, keeps it a little bit cooler than the standard leather. And there's the rear. Here's your center console. This is like a removable change tray there. And that's a good, you know, eight inches, 10 inches deep. Coming around to the rear. You can open up the trunk from there. There's also a button on your key, or you can open it even if the car's locked. As long as you have the key in your pocket, you can open it by pushing on this thing here. There's your rear camera. 
rear parking sensors in the back here. And then the seat lays down in a 60-40 split. Release each side from these handles here and then you can push them down. Gives you a whole lot extra space in the back there. Again, my name was Michael. Uh, give me a call or text me if you want to come in and take a look at any of this in person. I can have the car pulled around and cleaned up for you when you get here if you do that. I'll be here every day this week except Thursday. I'll talk to you later.